YouTube, how y'all doing today? I hope everybody's safe out there. This is the Big Face Trucker coming at you. Uh, today's video is probably going to be short, I guess. Just to let y'all know, I'm out here handling some stuff. I've been handling some stuff at home. And uh, the issue is that I'm dealing with bullying. Uh, my granddaughter is uh, in high school and, you know, my daughter's daughter is being bullied in high school. Also, I'm having some issues as far as my daughter goes to the same school, which is, that's her niece. So, and they also got uh, a brother there. And he got jumped on, he's got jumped on. And my daughter's, well, my granddaughter's got jumped on. Um, they got jumped on probably about three or four people jumped on them. And yes, they did video taped it, and it's said that this is what's got to go on in school. Um, and 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 the the thing is that all this it's pulling my daughter into this too, because she's not going to sit back and watch some kids jump on her niece or her, you know, half-brother. And she's in her last year. Got a scholarship. And, you know, she's got a scholarship and she's ready, getting ready to go to college. So, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm and, and, and the school, you know, the school is working. They're doing their job. And, you know, I had to, do a file a report last night. Um, you know, with the, with the police outside of school also, and it's just it, it it just you know where are these parents at, you know, and um, her mother and my granddaughter's mother went up to the school, and none of these children parents showed up to find out what was really going on. And why are their children being kicked out of school for 10 days? And some was kicked out permanently because they are, you know, problem kids up in the school. And my thing is like, where what's, what's these parents doing? You know, what are these parents doing to uh, not even have no control over their children? And... Me, you know, me raising four children and five five grands and one on the way. Uh, I see things change from the times when I went to school to the times now. And I don't understand, I don't, what I don't understand is why these kids are, uh, coming to school and find the smallest person to mess with. All right. When I was going to school, yes, I had bullies. There was times that I would have to walk the other way. There was times that I was backed up in the corner and yes, I had to get a whooping or jumped on. I think this is, you know, this, this, the way it is now, you can't, if a kid is tired of getting hit on, and this could happen, you know, in any school, just like the school down in Florida, uh, where somebody brought a gun to school and killed some people, you know, killed some children in the school. And, you know, what, what was going on with the, with the kid itself? Um, and it, it comes back to the parents. 
I always thought that when I was young, I represented my parents when I'm out in the world, you know, or, or you know, when I'm out and about, I represent my parents because my parents raised me and they showed me these rules. And I don't think these children today have these, these rules that just about everybody, it's a basic rule, you know, a basic rule that when, when you're growing up and the basic rule just f fell off with some of these kids. Um, it's sad because um, out of this whole incident, I think three children are kicked out of school and two was arrested. All right. And now they got a, a, a criminal record for the rest of their life. All right. And now they're tracking the second party to this, which is the people that filmed it, the people that shared Texas with them to send bullying Texas to my granddaughter. And it, it's just it's just sad. I don't think, you know, I don't think school, schools should have cell phones until they're out, out of school. If they're in school and they're messing with their phone and they're on social media, this is what's going on. So we didn't have this problem when we was young. Uh, and it's, I think it's just, it's just worse. It's just worse now for these children. Um, but still in all, I raise, I try to raise my seeds, all right, on what my mother and father raised me on. And the outcome has been great, all right? Um, it's just, it's just, I don't understand the parents, what's going on with the parents now. Yes, the parents are young now, but if I teach my daughter and she carries the teaching and probably perfect it or even make it better, all right, then we won't see these problems as far as within my clique in my family, my, my thing, you know, um, if every family was like that, I don't think we would have this problem, but we have this problem. And I don't know if it's due to the environment, mm -hmm. if it's due to, uh, lack of, uh, funds or financial matters and angry children. Uh, I don't know what it is. Um, my daughters, they do go to school and they dress top notch and these kids that's messing with her, they're, you know, they, they seem like they did little suffering far as, uh, financial matters or way they want to dress or whatever. So I think they're just picking on them because of that matter. Maybe, I don't know. Um, they're, they, 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 they're rough kids, you know, and they don't need to be rough kids, but kids don't understand things. So I still look at the parents, you know, and it's got to be something done with this bullying. I mean, it, it, it's, it's got to be a better way other than taking the bully and putting the bully in jail or giving them a criminal sentence. If that's the only way to handle it, then the parents need to need to buckle down with their children. And it's not right to put your hands on another person. If that makes any sense to some of y'all, I don't know, you know. I had trolls that said they want to put their hands on me. <laughs> you know, and it is what it is. So, you know, you got these trolls out here that they did they they bully on on the PC, you know, and they could be three years old. I mean, they could be like 10, 11, 12, 15 years old and talking crap on a PC, but they don't mean nothing. They could be grown men, you know. That's you know the drama's going on. You see the grown men out here acting like that, you know. So. I wouldn't put it past a uh, fucking troll. But that's the that's what's going on, you know, with the big face. I'm just trying to handle that situation. Seem like we got the situation handled. 
Um, and that's it, you know. This this is this is trucking uh, in a way because I'm not there to nip it in the butt. All right. And when I'm there, I have to take care of it. I have to do what I have to do. I have to line things up and send the mother, the daughter, you know, send them out with these, you know, instructions how to handle this situation and handle it properly and well. And the outcome is always great. And it's been great. You know, I got some news today where they are finding all everybody that jumped on my granddaughter. Um, they're finding everybody that jumped on their brother, you know, and it's great. But, you know, I was home last night. I'm picking up a load and I'm going to go back home, do my 10 hours. Then I'm going to deliver the load in the morning. I do on short runs um, with high rates, $4 here in Georgia. And uh, it's it, it's just, it's working out where I don't have to leave Georgia to go make a decent amount of money. I find that, you know, if I can put the short runs together, I make the same amount of money when I go to New York or if I go up into Illinois or, or over in that side or you know, go down to Georgia or whatever. I mean, go down to Texas or whatever. I stay right here in Georgia and I, I damn near make the same amount of money, less driving. Um, hopefully this week I'm trying something new where I'm only going to fill up one time. And I'm going to try to do, you know, a thousand miles and try to make some good money and figure it all out. And if I do the thousand miles and make the good money, that's what I'm going to be set on, you know, until I move forward, you know. So it is what it is. But yeah, um, just checking in. That's what this video is bullying. I don't know how many, you know, how many people are going through it out there as far as their children being in school, being bullied, but it's best to talk to them. And communicate with them because these children today they seem to communicate well by texting and not verbally so i think you know to have a good discussion and what's going on and everything and be real close to them really matters a whole lot you know and for you uh dads out there that can't see their children and you know and it always takes any time you think about them, you need to reach out and talk to them. You know, you know that 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 and and your moms too or whatever. Anytime you think, don't text, reach out and talk. All right, I think that's the best way of communicating. There's nothing like hearing your seeds voice over the phone if you're far away. As a trucker, you know, as a trucker out here. We know it gets rough and everything. We got families and we we doing what we got to do to make the money to pay the bills so we can live comfortable and also put some, some of them in through college. The ones that want to go through college or want to go to school for anything to support their dreams, you know, and, 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 and look out for them. But look, that's the big face trucker signing off. I'm going to kick back, smoke me a nice swisher, and uh, I'm going to holler at y'all. I know I haven't been making no videos like I told you. I'm not trying to be a, a YouTube star out here or anything like that. But uh, just letting you know my journey out here. That's all. Um, and that's it, you know. So to all you travel local hustlers out there getting that money, keep getting it. Because it's there. It's there. And I know y'all are happy. You, you, you can't be sad. You can't be sad over here. Unless you want to move on and make more, you know. But other than that, uh, that's what's up. Big Face Trucker signing off. Y'all hold it down. Y'all know what it is. Right with the left hand. Speak from the heart. Peace.